Hey guys, welcome. This is this is Fabio Gallo. Thanks for connecting to this live webinar. It's 11.02, almost 03 in London. And I want to, to thank everybody. Hey guys, welcome. This is this is Fabio Gallo. I want to thank everybody to uh, to join this webinar. Uh, some housekeeping information before before even starting. In this live webinar, you will, uh, will be able to connect directly with me, so you can uh, ask any questions that you want during and after this presentation, just clicking on the speak hand on, on the bottom right hand side of the screen. Um, then I want to thank to 157 registered persons that, uh, that they, they connected to this live webinar. So thanks, thanks everyone. And special thanks also to the other alumni and, and Jordi to organize and promote this, this webinar. So uh, thanks and, and hi from, from London. So the objective of this live webinar is uh, to talk about how sport OTT companies have to reshape the digital strategy in this uh, unfortunate uh, downturn, economic downturn. Um, and we will, we will do that through a presentation that I'm going to share with you and hopefully it will be interesting. I will remove my camera, but uh, again, I'm still, I'm still here. So what are the topics for, for today? Uh, we are going through main four different topics. Um, you know, we are living really a, a dramatic moment. Uh, most of you are connecting from very uh, difficult geographic areas, um, and 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 clearly the business has strongly impacted. Every kind of business, every kind of industry has been totally impacted. In this webinar, I'm not going to talk to every kind of businesses, so I'm going to focus to. Uh, what is the video OTT solution and how companies can reshape the strategy uh, accordingly. So we're going to tackle four, four uh, topics. One is how can you reshape your strategy from a content uh, standpoint? How can you approach and have a new different marketing approach? And how also you can have so a different offering to the end users? And finally, we will uh, touch very slightly how you can also have a new agile business technology solution in place. So let's let's crack on. Again, to create a brand new strategy, um, you cannot only focus in one just single area. So one of the big, uh, big mistakes that many companies are doing and I'm, I'm seeing every day is that they are focusing on just one single area. That is clearly it's not the case, is not what you should do. Uh, in order to, to um, boost your sales and, and, and to achieve new goals and, and, and trying to go ahead with new user acquisition strategy, you really need to have an alignment between a content and communication department, marketing, marketing department, product and offering solution, and finally the technology, right? So it needs to be all aligned. You don't have to focus just on one single area. You really have to accomplish and focus in on all the areas. So content, creating a new kind of content, you need to think outside of the box. You need to think something that you probably never thought you had to think because this is this is a crisis and you need to react as soon as possible. So what kind of live or non-live events you can run to acquire and retain your users? This is what we talk at the real beginning of this live webinar. From a marketing standpoint, how can you create new funnel and you can uh, create you know a proper marketing and also paid media solution to uh, acquire new users and retain them. Offering, you need, you need to reinvent the wheel a little bit. So what kind of offering, you, especially because people are all at home, 20% of the population right today is at home. How you connect with them is absolutely key and how you offer them a new product, a new solution is definitely uh, your, your winning card. And last but not least, technology, right? So technology is, is you need to think like a big tool that enables you to connect with people. How you use it will make the difference uh, with, with them. 
Let's start from the facts. And the facts are very clear. We are experiencing more than 60% of data consumption uh, compared to like three, four, one month, one month ago. So people are using and um, more than for, for the more than 70 minutes per day uh, are connected to streaming services. So especially in country like Italy and Spain, we are seeing a huge, a huge, um, a huge increase of data consumption. Uh, actually, there are big companies like Facebook, WhatsApp, etc., that are suffering. Actually, this the oh, Amazon as well. They are suffering this data consumption. But how can you leverage for your own business this data? Is the key of the success, and it is the key of what we are talking today in this live webinar. So let's start from a content strategy. When we go direct to consumer content, is real the first thing that you need to tackle? and how you reshape the strategy in terms of content will make a huge impact. In this content strategy, you have to embrace different aspects. You need to start from a live, uh, especially again, if you're talking about an OTT video content, you need to start from a live experience. So what is the live experience that you can bring to the end users? What, what kind of solution or what kind of content strategy you can reshape? Um, if you're talking about a sport, a sport company, sport brands, uh, reinventing a little bit the solution, there is no more sports events live in these weeks, in these months. There are probably few countries that I actually read yesterday that are still doing some live contents, mainly in Russia, Belarus, and other very, uh, let's say, less uh, pandemic country, less less country that has unfortunately suffer from the pandemic. But so there is no live streaming, what you can do uh, to tackle this. So new live programs, you, new live programs, you need to, to, to engage with your actors, with your celebrities, with your sport icons. You need to create new uh, lockdown fit programs. You can create video games tournaments. I just saw uh, the release of MotoGP that will launch for the first time a video games tournament between the same riders, the same riders of MotoGP. That's exactly what you should look at. You should look at different content than, than before. And then you probably have a lot of archive content and, and a lot of content that you probably never, never thought you have in your video library. And how you manage this content is, is absolutely essential in this moment. Um, you can create the best classics. You can rerun uh, matches. UEFA is rerunning uh, match replay, for instance. So this, this kind of solution is absolutely important. You can also go with fake live. Fake live experience is something that is very well known since many, many years now. And, but you can definitely put in place some strategy also with fake lives. And at the end, you need to think also, uh, hybrid data driven models that enables your content to uh, be pushed out there with a different content strategy. So again, some live and concrete event ideas for today. The first one that I thought, and actually the, the good thing is there's already a few companies that are implementing it, the live video games competition. So live video game competition between players or between writers or between actors, etc., cetera, is, is fun. And it is good to engage the younger generation. Is you very good to engage, for instance, the generation Z. Second, you can think to, uh, rerun matches so you can go live with match replay you can go live with classic events and other big football score uh, uh, full sports finals that can be rerun in a sort of fake <laughs> live streaming event and by the way do not forget actually to publish proper calendar of the screen so user can can know when those live events will be will be placed third do something behind the scene. Work around around interview training, live daily uh, with the conferences, one to one, lockdown fit. How how the players are working out during these dramatic moments. How they can still be fit without training for weeks or months. So 
let's enter inside inside their house let's do a proper lockdown fee programs for for the funds and finally still i'm i'm a big basketball and soccer fan i'm not receiving most anything information from my teams or uh, from the coach from the manager from the football players so you definitely need to go live with weekly updates also if you don't have huge updates you need to go live and say hey we are still here guys we are still here we are working we are working hard with whatever we have but we are still here so go dive engage with the user with dark email marketing or push notification and so on now that's from my standpoint, the most interesting area, how you can differentiate in this moment from a marketing strategy. First, if you, if you don't act now with a different marketing strategy, probably uh, you, you, will, you will suffer a lot. Um, this is a real marketing opportunity for, in my opinion, for many brands to reinvent their business and um, to completely and maybe completely complete the digital transformation of the marketing approach. Uh, talking about digital transformation has been very trended for the last probably 12 months. Everybody is talking about digitally transform the company. Um, and that, by the way, it doesn't mean <laughs> to go live with the proper website, but it's a really a structure, organizational structure transformation. But to be honest, I didn't see too much really transformation in, in most of the companies that I'm talking to on a daily basis. Um, so this is the right, the right moment and you need to take this opportunity to completely restructure your entire business, especially if you are a direct to consumer uh, solution. Data. Data is another big area. Um, there, there is, again, a lot of uh, talks about how artificial intelligence and data-driven marketing automation are helping a lot of companies to do a better job or uh, to have a better user experience and then finally and ultimately increase your revenues right so those those tools and those solution and talent people that are that is still out there is is what you need for your business is what you need now because the change is now is not when the pandemic will be over so the first thing that I would do is to create a proper, uh, complete new marketing funnel. So, um, and I will show you uh, after this slide, probably an example, a concrete example of what you can do, a very simple and cost-effective example that you can do. Creating a new advertising campaign um, is probably the first, the first area that I would tackle. And it probably is the easy and quicker right? Uh, I thought maybe most of you don't know exactly how to do it. So promote new type of streaming services with a new video ads solution is the first key point that I will explain in a moment. The second one is to build the right funnel. So again, uh, I see many companies that are using many, many tools from product technology standpoint, but they're not using properly or they are not neither know what are the tools that can empower uh, the solution. So build the right funnel to create new sales, new revenues is 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 the second thing that you need to standpoint. And and by the way, this is something so easy than creating an automation funnel that once set up enables your, your business to grow very quickly. The third thing is data strategy. Data strategy. So how you optimize uh, continuously and constantly your data and, and and create ads campaign based on data is is another another key area. So you need to clearly leverage some existing database that you probably already have, especially if you are a sport OTT company, you already have a huge database, and you need you need to work out from a CRM standpoint and try to clearly include the automation tools again the artificial intelligence tools learning machine tools that enables your business to to to, to boost finally you need it's it's not just about setting up things it's also to optimize it's also to interpret the right data that you're receiving and then using for the exactly goals that you want to achieve right so this is another big area that many companies are failing um, how do you interpret the data and how and what kind of KPI you're using is, is, is extremely important to make the right decision, right? So 
And by the way, digital marketing, this is, I'm talking about digital, clearly, digital marketing is in continual evolution. So uh, you need always to be updated and, and stay uh, and stay, uh, stay tuned. Now, I want to show you, uh, I, want, I will not dig into too much, but I want to show you a very concrete example of a brand awareness campaign that has been done literally uh, a month ago, still before the pandemic. But again, it's, it's exactly what now you should run because one, it's very cost effective and second, will bring you or your clients a lot of revenues. So Facebook, from my standpoint, is probably the most attractive uh, digital marketing solution today in place. It's the most effective and the most accurate for uh, a lot of data that they can input into, into the solution. So I would suggest, why don't you think about a couple of group campaigns that you can create with a video? Um, and then talking about funnel, you can create a very simple lead form or landing page where you can attract uh, users. And then clearly a thank you page when the user will register. Now, what happens if uh, the user don't land to your landing pages or the user doesn't register? There is very cool things that Facebook can enable for you. So if you, do, if, you, if, you are, if you are used to work with business manager, with ads business manager or Facebook, you can run campaign with retargeting objectives. So you can run a simple Facebook video ads and you can say that to all the user to watch either one of the video, they can have they, they can receive an impact by specifically retargeting ad campaigns that can be very different from one to another, and then they will um, they will uh, ping you know the the, the 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 ads directly again to the lead pages. So in this way, users that are impacted by the first uh, ads will get other ads in the following days. It's sort of cookie policy where users that have you know, watched at least 50% of the, of the video will be impacted by specific retargeting ad campaigns. And by the way, these retargeting ad campaigns can be as many as you wish with all kind of creativity and they can impact not just Facebook, but clearly also Instagram. Yeah, the idea is that you, everyone that has visited or saw your Facebook ad will be and didn't click and didn't engage with your with your solution that can be impacted by retargeting that campaign. What are the results? What are the results of this kind of solution? Um, amazing, amazing results. So we run, as I mentioned, we launched for the first time a month ago a campaign for a not very, let's say, big sport OTT brand. And we increased 25% of the user base in less than one month. So we were able to increase with a very simple and tactic uh, marketing campaigns the 25% of the user base of specific OTT company. What we forecast is a 20% of this 25% of potential conversion rate. So as you can see, we are creating a funnel in which the, the final objective is clearly to make those users subscribe to a specific service. That could be um, a service like Netflix or a service like The Zone, a service like Sky or whatever kind of uh, service you're talking about. So we run, we run some forecasts actually uh, together with the a US-based company called CMG Partners. And we define a sort of forecast modality, modeling for um, this new strategy. Uh, and again, this modeling took into consideration uh, different, different formats, right? So a different content format, a different offering, a different product marketing, and a different technology. And we saw a big drop of the subscription during March, because clearly everybody is churning. Everybody that you know has you know his own sport OTT solution in place is experiencing the same problems. Everybody 
uh, all the users are churning now. So how you can react to this churn is again, it's up to you. And I'm, I'm talking to you about this kind of solution right now. So this, this big drop has been, has been sorted out with this kind of strategy, a different content strategy and a different marketing strategy. So we forecast um, an increase of subscription also during this downtown downturn with this solution. Now, quickly about the product offering, right? This is the third point that we are going to talk about today. And this is probably the most interesting from a data a data perspective. So at the moment, all companies that are direct to consumer are literally not leveraging anything almost in terms of data. So creating an hybrid data driven offering is, is the best answer to an economic downturn that we are living. Uh, understanding consumer behavior is not just the trend of the moment, but it's how exactly your brand can differentiate and personalize his offering. In my opinion, we will, we will arrive in a moment in which as a, as a business owner, you will have to personalize and create for each individual users a specific personalized offer. We are not we are not right there now, but this is where the market is going. And how can you do that? Well, you can start to analyze data, data that you have or data that you may have and you're not analyzing yet. Concretely, you can run tests from A B test. You can include personalization experience for the end users. Um, and, and those tactics are already available and are already available with tools that enables you to do it in a very uh, fast and quick way. Now, let me show you, uh, I think this is very interesting. Um, it's clearly taking only sport, sport focus uh, OTT, uh, but this is a very cool example of how a rigid, let's say classic model compared to a data-driven business model is, is changing and, and helping companies to boost their revenues. So we experienced that most of the company, they changed their, their, their business model and they took a more data-driven approach, increased the revenue by up to 23%. There are some companies that we are working with that have an ARPU, an average revenue per user increase by 35%. But this is not this is not just an increase of revenue, an increase of single um, revenue per user. This is also an increase or uh, a change in terms of user segment. Um, you know, we, till a couple of years ago, till one year ago, you were talking about millennium. Now you're talking about generations that. So being closer to the, the younger generation is where enables your business, especially your sport OTT uh, solution to, to increase and to So here you see some companies that are still traditional in terms of business model like F1, MotoGP, NBA, FINA, etc. And then there are other companies like NFL, Game Pass, uh, Monumenta Sports Network, and um, Supercross, now you think that they're using data uh, to analyze what is uh, you know, the consumer behavior and how you can react to that and generate more revenue from there. So a quick uh, case study for today is Neo U Fitness. In my opinion, is probably the best case study that I've seen uh, in the last 12 months. So Neo U Fitness is, is, a, is a company that started up not barely two years ago. And they want to launch direct to consumer video video centric uh, solution. They decided first to create a community. So community always goes before any revenues. Okay. So they started to launch the direct to consumer solution completely for free. They said, Fabio, we want to create a data, a data driven approach in which we give free access to all users for a number of months, uh, but those users had to register into the portal. 
and we will grab all these users. We will create a data a user data lake uh, connected to the CRM. The CRM is connected to a marketing automation tools that enables me as a content owner to uh, to communicate and, and and personalize the experience with my my user base. So they run for about six months. Uh, this consumer behavior and analytic driven decision. And after that, they decide to do a strategic partnership agreement. So Neo Your Fitness is, is as, as the words say, <laughs> is a big fitness company uh, based in New York. They started again three years ago uh, with a very small studio. Now they are very big <laughs> and, and they have like more than 50,000 paid subscribers that they pay on a monthly basis an average of $15 each. So together with Now Your Fitness, we built a solution that was able to go direct to consumer in a funny way with a full integration with Instagram, right? With, with a personalization experience, with um, putting attention on what the personal trainer were and creating personal brands with personal trainer. So we really cr create this live and VOD experience in where user can watch uh, with a, you know, very, very easily uh, the, the experience. And they grow so fast and so quick that now they are generating more than 5 million revenues uh, per year. So last point is about technology. I will not be very long on this part because it's not the objective of uh, this webinar, but I want to touch the base to uh, let you understand what are, in my opinion, the key elements, the key elements of, uh, you know, any technology stack up for today that you must have to boost the brand. So the first one is not, is not in my opinion, from a technology standpoint, is not a poor product. The first one is having the proper data analytics and CRM tools. So, so you have to start with implementing data analytics in your daily decision process. Um, you, you, you have a lot of tools that can enhance the quality of your business decisions. Now, you can have and integrate as many as tools as possible. The problem is that you need to have people that understand data. You need to acquire uh, and hire new 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 talent people that are working around understanding the cheese you're making and 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 generate and interpret data for you and this is connected to the point number two that is monetization layer so you need to create a monetization layer a data sort of data anal data intelligence that trigger monetization and drive the best product offering for your brand and, and business so taking decision from data and using a sort of billing intelligence system connected to different payment gateways and give you the right decision and the right offering in the right time. That could be go, uh, this could be far as having different dynamic prices according to the country or according to the different moments of, of the month or moment of the year. The first thing is the CMS, the content management system, in particularly a strong content management system to build application, let's say, on the fly. And what I mean on the fly means without, you know, having too much knowledge in time, you don't have too much knowledge in time of technology and you want to boost your product and your business simply with maybe a drag and drop system where you can build application of whatever kind uh, with your mobile, connected TV, gaming console, um, smart TV, from one unique content management system. This quick, so as you, the time to market is one of the key area um, for many sport companies, specifically in this downturn. So you need to react very quick. You need to have tools that enables you to react very quick. So having a proper CMS for app builds without reinventing the wheel, but just with a, maybe a drag and drop system can, can change the way of user are experiencing um, can enable you to engage with the users. And last thing is about having live editing tools. So live is important, but how you distribute this content is still more important. So you need to think outside of the box and 
trying to use the content from a syndication with syndication tools um, to boost pretty much everywhere, everywhere where I, I stated here, where it makes sense, right? So depending on the target that you want to achieve, depending on, on the localization of the user and, and the geographic of the users, depending on what is it, your strategy in terms of monetization standpoint. So combining all this, you need to have a live editing tools that in a few seconds will enable you to post um, your content, your live content, wherever you wish. So I think we we are uh, running out of the time. I want to uh, leave a few uh, minutes. If you have any questions, is now the moment to make it. Just press the uh, the chat if you want to leave any chat messages. Uh, hi Leonard, thanks. I just see your your message. Uh, it's a it's great to to see you here. Uh, we don't talk for so many years, but uh, great great to see you. Uh, so guys, again, if you if you want to leave any messages or if you want to have any question, I'm happy to solve any doubts right now that we are live. I will give you uh, a couple of minutes. So guy, Bill is asking, how can I run my Facebook ads campaign? So as I mentioned, as I mentioned before, you can run a lot of uh, campaigns depending on the goals, right? Facebook, in my opinion, is probably the best, uh, the best right now, uh, specifically in the Western country. Maybe if you look more to the to the to the East European country, or if including the Asian country, you can probably start to think more um, Instagram, or you can you can think about TikTok ads campaign as well. So creating a campaign is um, is not super easy. First, it's something that you can run without um, too much knowledge. That that's also very true. But how you optimize? Because there are so many companies that start uh, launching their ads campaign, don't get results, and they abandon completely. They churn. They don't give anymore. Uh, they they just give up. So. Uh, Digital marketing is something, it's not super easy. It's a lot of competition. Competition is raining, is raising every day, every day more. So how you can run these uh, campaigns will make a lot of difference. Um, so if you have any any questions about this, just drop me a line uh, directly to me at fabio at fabiogallo.co. I would be happy to help you. And by the way, guys, if you uh, wanna run uh, if you want to run a, a call with me anytime, uh, just I just put here um, the possibility to schedule a call with me. So just click on that and be happy to to have a call with you and help you for free um, with your own strategy. Let me see if we have any questions. Um, so Jorge is asking, guys, what are the main finance campaigns uh, should look when reshaping their strategy? So there are many, many finance campaigns. It really depends on the goal, Jorge. It, there are companies that are focusing on, on, on getting um, maybe a revenue first. They, they are looking for campaigns specifically for conversion. Um, there are companies that are focusing like we are we are watching right now um, on just brand awareness. So it really depends on the goals that you want to achieve. Um, but you can run different kind of funnels. The classic one, in my opinion, are, and the best one is to go out with some content. Don't be shy first. I see many companies and many people that are very shy to go out on social media with you know, the, the thoughts or the ideas or the content. So don't be shy. Nobody will judge. Don't care about the judgment of the other people. Go out and put out your content. And then once you have your content, start to create a community around this content. Um, once you have a community is when you should start to think about the proper funnel. And again, it really depends what your objective are. So 
if our objective in terms of brand awareness, if the objective of um, creating solution that enables your brand to um, to stand up, uh, then it's it's about doing solution and marketing activities around Facebook, around Instagram. You can use a lot of social media, but you can also use um, other kind of strategy that could be uh, around that could be uh, good for for your fun up for your for your objective. So it really depends on the objective. All right. Okay, uh, Michael is asking, is those numbers right? Uh, yes, they are very right. I can, I can, uh, I can be, you can be sure about this. So what we saw is basically once we started to do uh, this kind of uh, push, we, we, we saw, so clearly that this was just one of the few examples that we put in place, by the way, it's not just the only one. So we saw a 25% increase on, on database. We are talking about thousands of users. We're not just talking about a few ones. And again, if if you want to know more, Michael, just drop me a line. I will be happy to <laughs> to explain exactly what we did. But it was about three weeks of preparation uh, to run these campaigns. But the three weeks of preparation were nothing compared to the results that we got. Now, the second objective that a company has is to turn this this huge increase of twenty five percent in future potential conversion. That's the second objective that we are working right now. Another question from Niloy, which ad platform is cost effective for sports audience, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or other platforms? So again, it really depends also on where your business is. Uh, let's make a few, few examples. If you're talking about uh, streaming services, clearly in my opinion, Facebook is, is still the, the most important one. If you're talking about e-commerce, uh, Instagram, uh, or also TikTok are clearly uh, the most effective. Doesn't mean that they are the most cheap, the cheaper one, uh, but for sure are the ones that can generate more um, revenues or um, achieve more bigger goals for for your own um, for your own uh, solution. So you really you really need to understand what kind of goals you want to achieve and what kind of business and probably also the market because you mentioned the talk. The talk, by the way, is very strong in some geographic area like us asia is quite popular now specifically in this moment that we are living in in some country like poland uk italy spain germany but it's not so popular like facebook on instagram yet but it will it will come it will come robert uh, great webinar very informative thanks robert are there any online tools to find target advertiser or do we rely on facebook campaigns to find uh, one for us. So um, there are tons of tools. There are tools that I, I am a very fan of using the right tools at the right moment. There are tools that, you know, don't give you back any values. So my suggestion is really try those tools first and then maybe submit for, for, for a subscription. Um, the best tool for target advertisers are Facebook, Instagram, if you have telephone number of the user, absolutely WhatsApp, I recommend it. Now there are many tools that enables you for with artificial intelligence to automatically, automatically generate automation funnels also with WhatsApp. So you can potentially create a huge database of users that don't give you just an email, but maybe they can start to give you some telephone number and you can aggregate them and then you know with automation tools you can define those users with different cluster and the, you you can you can target different cluster of the users with specific tools but if you want to attract users very quickly i think facebook is is the right answer Gonzalo, if you had launched today a new sport OTT company, would you use uh, the same go-to-market strategy, content, community, funnel? What would be your approach? So launching from scratch a sport OTT um, company is uh, is something extremely, in, from my point of view, is wonderful. 
So I started up many, many, many OTT projects, and I counted uh, last week. It was 34, three, four uh, total number of projects that are launched in the last 10, year, 10 years. Uh, uh, as you guys know, I work at FC Barcelona. I work at Dorna, Dorna Sport, MotoGP many years. We launched so many, so many projects between them. Uh, as well, uh, some OTT OTT project, but also when uh, I started to work and uh, as a, on, on the other side of the table as a technology provider, we launch a lot of a lot of new projects. So what I recommend to you is two things: having a, a very strong content strategy, and when I say content strategy, I mean a proper content um, template uh, where you can start to to create your, you know, what kind of comp content you want to uh, upload into the, the channel. And the second thing is having a proper marketing strategy. So marketing strategy is, is essential to your business. Also, if you go direct with a free to wear solution, having a proper marketing in place, marketing strategy is absolutely vital. Um, and the last thing is about the product, okay? So content community the funnel, I would say content clearly is always number one. Uh, then community, it's up to you. If you, wanna, if, you, if you are launching a strong brand, a very well-known brand, you probably want to skip the community because communities may be already there. But if the company has never, is not very well-known, let's say, then creating a community is something that has to be done. Has to be done. Yeah, definitely. And then funnel. Funnels at the end is, is creating uh, a marketing strategy, uh, achieving your goals, increasing your revenues, etc. So guys, I think we we are running out of the time. Uh, I want to personally thanks everyone for attending this live webinar. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you want to know more, again, you can uh, directly contact me on my personal email address. That is fabio at fabiogallo.co, or you can also reach me out in whatever um, social media channel. Have a good day. Bye.